What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another Bambino Games video. Today I've got Aerofly FS2, Flight Simulator from Aerofly. Pretty awesome game. Second flight for me. I just bought this thing today. I know it's been around for a while, a couple months at least, maybe longer. But I have seen it and I was going to buy it and I put it off because I was doing some other stuff and I finally got around to getting it. Honestly, after getting a little frustrated with Flight Simulator, uh, Steam Flight Simulator, so I tried this out, and let me tell you, the graphics are incredible. Just let me just zoom in here on the instrument panel. Look at the detail when you zoom in on the instrument panel. It's just awesome. Check that out. Now, I've got it on ultra settings. I haven't done any frame rate testing on this yet, but uh, I don't really think I need to, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just that good. These are different views that you have. There's a cabin view, your left wing. Outside the plane, I can look like this. You can see, can move the camera, always move the camera. Awesome. So what I'm going to do here is just quick flight from McCarran in Vegas, as you can see here. There's Vegas right over there to our left. So a quick flight out of McCarran. We're going to fly past Vegas a little bit, and then we're going to land back here at McCarran just to give you my first impressions of it. So let's do that. Alrighty, so one cool thing about this is that it's got light indicators, so like my flaps, for example, if I put the flaps down and I hit red, it turns red while the flaps are going down, so even at night I can see. Blue means like the middle position, and if it goes to yellow, that's the all the way down position. So that's pretty cool, right? So I automatically have a, a, a visual indicator of my flaps. And then right here, down here, you can see these three green, just zoom in a little closer there, these three green lights there, that's actually the landing gear. So I know if my gear is down or not. Uh, so there's some cool stuff there that uh, this, this game has. That said, let me shut up and let me uh, give it a go here. So now I, I, I'm still working on all the controls and getting things configured properly with my yoke and stuff, but uh, I have it pretty much set. So let's uh, try to take off here. A few views and then we'll bring it back. Here we go. pilot, right? I'm just a, a gaming pilot, if you will. Uh, but uh, I do like the way this feels. Now, some people have complained that at night you can't see landscape, which is black, but I can actually see landscape, uh, which is kind of cool. I figured a night flight would be kind of cool to see, so you can see the instrument panel and stuff. So we're going to spin around here and uh, just fly through Sin City over there. Now, the one cool thing about this game is that they just recently announced uh, VR support with uh, Vive, uh, Steam VR support. So I'm hoping that when I get my HDK2 headset, which should be coming here in a week or so, I'll be able to uh, play this game in VR, which should be pretty cool. The other thing is it's limited to the, to the, uh, the geographical area that you can fly in, and it's basically all... California or West Coast and Nevada, so it's like a, I think it's like a four-state area, I'm not really quite sure, but it's certainly not the whole country, but I'm sure these guys are working on bringing out more areas of the U.S. and uh, working their way, you know, around the world, right? So let's uh, kind of kick back our uh, throttle here. I'm having some issues with the throttle control. You can see the RPMs aren't coming back. Maybe if I nose up here, here we go. That's probably it. 
see that's realistic right because the props are I'm heading downwards the props aren't going to stop turning right so pretty cool so it seems like the physics are pretty good again I'm not a pilot but Let's see if we can take another spin by here Now ground, there's no ground movement, no animation on the ground, everything is static. So that's kind of a bummer, but I'm sure they're working on that. There's Sin City. I do see stars in the sky, which is kind of cool. You can see the detail in the buildings is pretty awesome. I mean, that's pretty pretty nice for a simulator. Pretty cool. Look at that. Pretty awesome. So again, this is first impressions. I know there's a lots of reviews of this game. I'm just giving you my first impressions. You can even see the light coming from the, uh, I forget the name of that, uh, hotel there. It starts with the L, I think. Anyway. Pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's drive out here a little bit and then we'll spin around and we'll try to land at McLaren here. Sound effects are pretty cool. Take a look at some of the cameras. There's the uh, McCarran right there. Different cameras we have. on my flying here guys but uh, so far I'm very impressed and again I'm not a obviously not a pilot but for me I just think this feels better than flight simulator Certainly better than um, the uh, the flight school game, which I think is pretty cool from Dovetail. But uh, I've had some graphic problems with that. I mean, there's some major, major uh, uh, what do you call it, screen tearing with that. And uh, I, mean, I don't know. So I think it needs a lot of work. But uh, this is pretty damn cool. I mean, the detail, the clock on the wheel, or I should say the uh, the yoke. Not a wheel. It's not a wheel. See, I'm not a pilot, so I don't, I don't freaking know. Right, there's my target there, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fly out here a little bit, and then we'll bring it in for a landing. So yeah, so the, I'm sure that these guys are working on it. I'm really excited about the VR thing, but overall, this thing is just pretty awesome. Really get a sense for. It's the first time I've ever played a flight simulator where you really get a sense like you're in the plane. It's a Baron 58, the Beechcraft Baron 58. Now, I kind of wish the Baron the 58 had a, a GPS. That would be nice. Maybe they're working on that, but uh, maybe there's a mod or something. I don't know. I would like. I would love to have a GPS in this plane. Modern. I'm sure mo old modern planes like this are going to have a GPS in them. So, so where we're at about 5,000. So we should probably get down a little bit.
like I said, still getting used to it. Watch your RPMs on the panel there. I love the lights for the flaps, it's awesome. Feel the plane come up. do have some training modes, so if you want like a flight path indicator, you can get that kind of stuff. It's a nice way to land right there. It's got a cool feature though, like after you land, you can pause the game and go back take a look at your landing from different points of view, which is pretty awesome. And the thing is, it's really easy to use. Let's get lined up here. It's pretty, it's pretty... Uh, what's what I want to say? Sensitive. It's very sensitive. sensitive. I'm not going to hit a tree there, I think. Oh boy, that's a tree. I went through a tree. Alright, I'm taking a guess here because I was lined up. Kind of tough to see. I probably should be zoomed in more. be okay. Not a picture-perfect landing, but that's all right. I'll get used to it. There we go. All right, so now that we stopped... Okay, we hit our brakes here. Cool, we're stopped. Good. We can hit the P button, and then we can go back. That's pretty cool. So I can go back here like this, so if, and I could change the camera and take it in like this. Or I can change the view and go like this. That's really cool, man. And you control it with this slider. What a great idea, man. I love that. Look at that. That is awesome, man. I love this game. It's worth every penny of the 50 bucks, man. I really hope these guys, you know, continue to improve this game. I like it the way it is. I mean, it certainly needs more airports and uh, geographic area to fly in, but it's pretty damn cool. So I'm really psyched about it. Again, this is my first look. I know it's been out a while, but it's my first look. And I tell you what, it's, I think it just became my flight simulator. I love it. It's awesome. So, guys, listen. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more gaming videos on Bambino Games. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video was lame, well, sorry. But if it was awesome, please hit the like button. It really helps. And be sure to subscribe as well. When shopping on Amazon, please use the link in the description below. And don't forget to follow me on 